we're back. Russian falling flame hack workstation. Look at all these laser weapons. Not so much with the stealth. But they're very effective, especially this early on. This is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. Like, I, I, it feels like I don't have shinobis in these missions quite often, but I think that my shinobis got wounded and then pretty much stayed wounded for most of the most of the mission. Okay, I don't have a sniper, do I? So we just attack along the train, I think. Begebe mich zum Ziel. Yeah, I think for color scheme for uh, Delta Squad, I, I like the navy colors. We'll go like uh, dark and light blue. Get it done. Cheeky hack, what you got? Blitz and a PC. Map alert actually could really count in our favor. Sometimes I'm, I'm so happy when I get a map alert. I think we can sneak through here. Feindlicher Trupp entdeckt. Now what's the scarier pod? I think the Sigtoid is the scarier pod, but that's the easier engage. Rolling. Please don't reveal. This shouldn't be a reveal because of peak from concealment. Scanning. Hope these lads don't do exactly that and move away. For fuck's sakes. Oh no, I still have vision. So I think Griff will open up. Actually. Heading out. I can get multiple guys with heart advantage here. I seem to recall there was a time where you could actually um, suppress there now. AOE suppress from stealth and then shoot at the entire pod. God, that was so broken when you could do that. Okay. Hundred uh, percent. I think it's a regular stock. AP rounds. Does you have a hair trigger on here? No, because I did not come together weapons because I'm a moron. Four to seven damage. Five to eight. Okay, so Dr. Payne will open up by shooting at the specialist. Overwatch. Like a ranger from Alpha dies, does a ranger from Beta get bumped and C to B, etc. Well I mean I can I can bump them up from squads if they aren't bonded. But most likely we are just gonna have to get rookies in. And level them up. Hope it doesn't end up being too oppressively difficult. But you're right, no one's gonna die. That never happens. Got it covered. Oh! Well, how about that? We're busted. <laughs> Ah, that last hit could have been so good. 92 and it missed as well. So, MAL, you know what you could do? Like, let's say the Ranger from Alpha Squad dies. And he was bond... Oh, shit, no. Well, you'd have to bond the same classes. I should have been more careful bonding classes. Because if, if, if your class bondings are the same between squads, then, like, it's, for argument's sake, if you always bond Specialists and Rangers, if one of the two dies in Alpha Squad, then the, the Beta Squad 
goes up to Alpha and then the one guy, loose guy by himself drops to Beta and then to Charlie and then to Delta and then, you know. Fucking Rangers. I don't think it was, it was Griff that missed that. Ugh, failed trumpet. Now I've got to go probably reveal myself. Get clear. This should be like a 70% chance to hit through cover. 83. So gemacht. Just want to put Iron Legend where he can. Well, I mean, like, this flamethrower is the most valuable thing. Can he jump there? He can. So we got sectoids there and snakes. Okay, this is a habit I've gotten into, which I would suggest you guys all do, especially in these hack missions. Preemptively call the evac. Evac typically takes about five turns. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Four on Hold Commander. Tight. I'm actually going to go for the hack because the map alert would, would help me a lot. Whatever you say. Because then they can move towards me and I can overwatch them. System infiltration in progress. Soldier gains his run and gun. A common, a common PT. So. Ah. Well, shit. That's what I'm doing. Uh, rocketing now is way too dangerous. It's 3.2 tile spread. Flamethrower nowhere near. Natürlich. Haben es mit Edwin zu tun. Well. At least we know where they are. Bewege mich zur Schussposition. Sporte los. Das war doch klar, oder? Oh God, we're gonna get grenaded. We're gonna get mind controlled, we're gonna get sidewinded. Iron Legend is in so much trouble. What's over there? All I can hope for is that when that if the mech jumps up here, Come get some. these two lads can overwatch kill him. I want the height advantage, but if I get grenaded on this thing, it'll outright kill. I'm going. Uh, Dan Rosenthal. Come get some. Oh God, legend. Ooh. I just have to hope that the mech does something stupid like suppressing. Jumps up into a flank. Come on, Doctor Payne, Overwatch him. Overwatch him. That was my specialist that he mind spun. Fucker. Check it before you get too close. Let's do this. Uh. Kein Problem. Horst, we need another big crit on this other sectoid here. Damn it!
two hit points. A flush ought to do Whatever it. Whatever you say. We've got how many turns? Three turns on the bleeding out lad. Only 50% chance if it even hits. The sidewinder doesn't shadow step. 48, well. Yeah, I didn't get it. Please just poison, spit, or bind. Don't shoot. Alright. Uh, med kits. Why is no one carrying med kits? Don't tell me only the fucking assault trooper is actually carrying a med kit. God damn it. Two turns to network shotgun. I think what I have to do here is Oscar Mike. And then this lad has to run over watch, sorry to say. Where did that scout go again? He's behind there, I think. So at least here he can pick up that, he can shoot the snake from cover. I can handle that. It's coming over here! Got the thing. Can I not see where the horse is carrying a med kit? I'm gonna have to walk up there next to him. Ah, oh, damn it. Minimum damage. Uh, well, walk fire should do for him. I guess that'll be okay. Hey, take a look at this. I got it, right? Oh, there's still three enemies on the field. With four turns to get in hack range with Tia Rivera. So we've got a wounded sectoid, a scout, and I think an officer. Intervention. Spend 10 intel, gain 2 turns in the mission timer. I might have to do that. Uh, what's the ammo situation here? So flush could still... Kill him. I think I'll go for it. 84 aim on him. If I had an auto loader, maybe he could have gotten that. One to two if it hits. Fifty percent. Fifty percent. Fifty percent still fifty percent. Get it together. I think I would have been better off putting him into high cover, maybe. Okay, getting marked sucks, but at least it wasn't a shot. That scout is the big killer. 40%. And now I've got to start, my here. specialist has to now start sprinting forward. What was that hit chance she got hit? That was quite low. Must have been quite low. Seems doable. Hopefully he's carrying a medkit and I can stabilize him. Nope. But horsed, where is horsed? I think this is a failed mission, I don't see how I do this. I don't have the troops for this. I mean, this gets me height advantage, but fuck, I just don't have the tools now.
I mean, I can blue move and stabilize him, but no one can get, no one can get up to him. I just don't have what I fucking need. I suppose I could blue move like this and give him both barrels. But then I'm exposed to the scout. Well, the scout's going to need two shots to kill him, so I think I'll do that. If you say so. Unfortunately, Iron Legend is going to bleed out. Well, I don't have remote healing, so I couldn't remote stabilize because Night Shadow is still such a low level. I could try to flush the sectoid again, then it's only the scout. I can't even see the fucking. Ugh. Damn, there's no way to save Iron Legend. Six hit points on Night Shadow. If she goes there, maybe she can blue move. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm pretty sure he's carrying a med kit. I can handle that. Let's not forget at the end of the day. This is this is a liberation mission, I'm so as long as we achieve the mission. Honestly, all that matters. This is fire so if I go here, I can stabilize him. Can I knife this fucking sectoid, which should kill him, and remove the panic? Then he can move forward and give him both barrels. No problem, boss. <laughs> Shit's getting crazy here. No, I can't give him both barrels. Is it because he's in the way? I think he, that's why. I'm going. Whew. You're good. Just stay. Horst. We managed to save Horst. Okay, I'll go. Forty-two percent. This is the one to hit, Griff. Yeah, I didn't get it. He's gonna shoot and crit my specialist. Oh, not sure I can make it. One hit point. No problem, boss. Attempting infiltration. Uh, could I have picked up the body? I suppose so. On that last turn. I don't think I could. Because, so, Night Shadow file. moved forward Eliminated to stabilize him. Her turn ended. Dr. Payne had to stab the sectoid. Griff couldn't... Picking up as a free action, but then he couldn't use. No, that was the only chance he had. I'm trusting you here. God's sake, let's get out of here. It's dead. It has to be dead. Let's get our man's body out. Whatever you say. Rip. No problem. Ripperino. We lost our technical. But at least the mission was a success. And it's a liberation mission, so. Disappointing? Absolutely. Worth it, probably. Now, Griff, can you grab that mech and store evac on the next Location turn? Location confirmed. Come on, hack it, Deutsch! Show 
Turn on Tavix. Whatever you say. Man, that was rough. I'm gone. But we need that armor. That See, combat I'm armor. Need sure. combat I'll armor. Bring him in. Already there. So now, um, because we have to, I think this is Alpha Just Squad. We lost our on. Alpha. Or alpha technical. So. so now we'll see whether there's an unbonded technical in, in Beta or Charlie. Oh yeah, the Fulton Harness mod is amazing. The, the, the real reason I'm using it now is because I need it to help me find the corpses as you hover over and it shows the corpses. Like, I think I won't use it to actually uh, to either guys while bleeding out. I would rather them bleed out because to me that that's like that just makes it too easy. And like for me, head cannon wise, someone who's mortally wounded getting evac like that probably wouldn't survive that. But if you evac in corpses then it's fine, it's a corpse, you know. The horse can actually pick up that snake corpse on the next turn. Honestly, in my own, it, it happens. These things happen. People die. It's war. Soldiers die. I'm out of here. I'm gone. Gun side yet. Next evac. All X come up. Ooh. Ouchie. Rough. Rough, 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 rough. But also, what's going to make a big difference is once we get the Proving Ground up and we get Ablets of Armor and Hazmat suits. Once you have a Hazmat vest, that's plus three hit points. I would like and the Ablets of his plus three advent. Ablets of Armor, that's plus six hit points. Our will stop at nothing to prevent further attacks by criminal elements such as the one that occurred today. The Elders have total faith in our ability to overcome any and all threats to our peace. As far as the vests go, I uh, very much prefer the stasis vest that you get off a shield bearer, which heals your guys. But you need a shield bearer for each one of those vests, so it takes a while to uh, get them all. Rest in peace, Iron Legend. You died so that others may live. I wasn't the first, you won't be the last, sadly. Okay, so Alpha lost their technical, so technical is bonded in Bravo Squad. Uh, so Zap Brannigan is now becoming our, <laughs> our Alpha technical. Not now, come on. Ugh, I've got like no one available. What are you carrying? A regular shotgun, regular cannon, assault rifle, assault rifle. Let's see what kind of defense we can muster here. Setting course for the Mexican Regional Tract. So what I want here is grenadiers and technicals. Anyone who can move fast. I need two lads to just run around tagging civilians. And then other people can fight. So P-Flex and Speedman are oh, just going to run around tagging civilians. But they can wear some ceramic plating because if they run into a faceless Actually, no, if it, well, yeah.
Whose wool is particularly bad? No one really. Are there no shinobis available? They're all bloody wounded. Well, it's nice that we can put the laser lance into effect here. Gunner is there, our ranger is here, Grenadier. I think Levitz Mill, yeah, just have a bunch of frag grenades just for guaranteed damage. Templar, just a shard gauntlet and loads of mobility. These defense missions are all about mobility, I find. 70 points is fine, 70 points is fine. Assault Trooper. I might actually give the Predator armor to the rookies in case they run into a faceless. Four hit points is fine there, honestly. The aptly named Predator armor should give our soldiers increased longevity in the field. Mr. Assault Trooper. Okay, so Sharpshooter, you get AP rounds, you get Nano Scale, you get Ceramic. Gunner, let's give you Med Kit. Let's give you Med Kit. I don't know, Daphius, I'll have to see. I just don't know. I think I'm going to go armor first because it's Griff Alpha or Beta Squad, I forget. Doesn't matter. I um, want to go a bit more armor first because we've still got three pretty pretty complete rosters. Once once you know my roster is so uh, you know badly affected that I, I can't actually you know field a full squad. I think advanced scope. I think. Auto loader, I think. That's it. Expanded mag. Air trigger. Scope. Elite hair trigger. Expanded mag. What's his aim? 70 now, he needs a scope on there. No scope. Laser sight. Stock. Auto loader. Hit trigger on the sniper rifles is kind of a kind of a waste. Okay, Operation Righteous Grave. Stop the advent retaliation, revealed start, super objective. Assault lad. He doesn't need the will. 57 will is fine. I might as well. 64 will, 55 will. Uh, 29 minutes in, I think we can do this mission here. Right, Dr. Payne, Griff, Levitzmere, Ballbag, Scorcher, Perinflex, Boots, Kakabilo. Let's roll. Now, uh, there's two kinds of Haven defenses. There is the one where the enemy troops are already on the field and they just start executing your people from the beginning. And there's the one where they just drop reinforcements the whole time. I hope it's the reinforcement mission.
just got word the aliens are attacking a resistance outpost in this region. Indeed, applesauce. Prisoners. These people need our help. And we're heading in to make sure the aliens regret coming Ah, uh, I think this the is the hard one. Neutralize all hostile contacts in the area and secure the camp. So the thing is, what, what's also like easy and hard is the smash and grabs. When you're smashing the static warehouse, it's so much easier than when you're tagging the supply crates. Like it's like the difference is unbelievable. We're coming in hot. Look at how cool that uh, Avenger looks. Menace one five. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot, and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. I'm going. Advent troops spotted. <sighs> Flammenwerfer. Scout. Okay, where's my specialist? Oh, do I even have a specialist? I don't think so. Damn. I don't have a fucking shinobi either. Well, once I get the sharpshooter up on the roof, he should be able to provide good good support. Whatever you say. Impressed yet? Nice one, Dan Rosenthal. Sick toy. Being out in the open. Okay, I'll go. Doesn't really matter. We just gotta kill shit. Kill shit as much as much as we can. Quick as we can. Let's do this. Now this now that I've got these two rookies who can't really do shit. They were set up for running around tagging civilians on the other mission type. They really can't do anything. I'm here. on it. At least they are tough. Give them that much. Just use them as scouts, really. So I can run, gun, shoot the sectoid if I'm able to kill the Flammenwerfer. Got it. Move in. And Night of Light, not, not a whole much longer. I think I'll finish this mission and then that'll be it for tonight. Hunt on the boss! God, I should have taken snapshot. Such a big mistake on my part. I really screwed the pooch there. Shot. Before you get too close. Get him! I strike for my people! Strike! Snake! <sighs> That's a lot of snakes! I think I'm going to use my rookies just to run them into Whatever flanking positions, just to force these things to move. I might even take that uh, run and gun zap just so uh, there's one less enemy shooting. Getting it done. So here it is. I didn't come out here to sightsee. Why do we get to shoot something? So I can assume that at least one of those snakes is going to shoot at the rookie, and vipers tend to use that constricting attack. And I doubt very much that AI will actually shoot an explosive canister. If it does, I'm going to have a bad time. Let's destroy the tree. Increases. In my 
I hate the way these civilians just stand out in the open and allow themselves to get executed. back there is going to be challenging. I suppose I can rend him. Why only 5 to 6 damage? Oh, he's got basic gauntlets. That's why. Heading out. Set this mofo on fire. Here I come. Hmm. Fifty two percent, not bad. Do we not bring any med kits? I think the gunner and the ranger has med kits. Med kit, med kit. I mean, I can't medkit this lad this turn, so I might as well just do it in the next turn. Get another focus you point. Pay the price. What's up, Jimbo? Fuck. Yeah, my, my Black Legion uh, Battle Brothers squad are an interesting one. I misleveled a lot of them quite badly. But I'm in another one of those phases where I, I, I desperately need a break from Battle Brothers. On the move. So I'm going to wrap up this current playthrough and take another break. Run away! We're going to lose a lot of civilians here. Zinia Ruiz, run away! On it! Well, don't get me wrong, I love me some Battle Brothers, but no you, you do need a break every now and then. Every time one of your brothers takes a, uh, a marksman crossbow bolt to the face, it takes a little something out of you. I don't have a specialist who can bring someone back from being unconscious. So that was quite lucky. So this lad, if he moves, will get repoisoned. So two, two, two to three with a pistol, two to five with a zap. So we're probably going to zap them. Where's the other lad? He's on the I'm roof, going. I think. Oh, oh, George Martin doesn't have ugh, lightning reflexes. So, in, in, Inquisitor Tomato was great fun. Enjoyed it, but for that kind of game, honestly, I, I got everything out of it that I wanted to. 69 is probably my best chance to hit that guy. Come on, 69. Nice. 
So this will be nine that we've killed. We can expect probably one more pod after this. I'm going. Ooh, I can remove them, the uh, poison. Finally. I'm gonna especially give the kill to Dr to Levitz now. Because as a grenadier, he's not likely to get uh, that many kills. My senses are keen. Come get some. Right, one more pod, most likely. Got it. So I only lost two so far. Come get some. Most likely, we'll lose the third. I guess that'll be okay. Hopefully, that'll be it. Ready to go. This is a nice bonus, the fact that they've, this last pod has uh, stumbled into us, that helps a lot. I'm just judging by the way they've stacked up here, they're going to be quite hard to deal with. Right, what can the sniper see, is my first question. He can't see the lad who is overwatching. Curses. Now I happen to know that there's a lad behind that vehicle, so I'm just gonna go big butter boom here. Yeah. Could that hurt my rookie? It probably could. On your order. Like I think on this type of vehicle the explosion is only centered around the cab. It's not around the whole vehicle, I don't think. Man, where's my damn technical here? There he is. Killed the gunner and the sentry. Nice. And then we just move forward and overwatch this last guy, I reckon. Or we just take direct fire shots. It's 40%, it's worth it. Missed. Adjusting sights. Uh, ball bag should pick up some snake corpses while we're here. You. Not what I meant to do. Whoopsie. <laughs> that did not mean to whoop my own bloody. I was supposed to get the corpse, damn it. <laughs> Will do. A random soldier just gets a, a, a bloody a balloon strapped to his ass and he gets whooped out of combat <laughs> without realizing. Got it covered. On the move. On the move. Mm. What are we doing here? What's going on? Getting I'm a little too warm over here. here. No problem, boss. Double disorient, no problem. Let's see if I can make him move it's behind my cover. He's much further away, but that should be a better shot for my sniper. Right, Kakabilo, I'm gonna do the honors. Wait, hang on, let, let Ballbag try to claim a snake corpse first. You're still needed here. Is it possible to exfiltrate this we way? We need to leave this place! In two turns, yeah. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Is that even going to work? It could work. We could get a few extra corpses out of it, but let's not bother. Uh, 
Menace 1-5, status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Good work, team. A couple of wounds, fair enough. And I think we only lost two uh, of our Haven people, which could have been a lot worse. And despite the destruction left in their wake, XCOM refuses to let go of the ways of the old world. They will continue their wanton and reckless crimes until the entire world burns around them. We are grateful to the elders for their support in ending... Good mission team. Uh, MVP, I'd say probably Kakabilo the sniper. He did great work. Center mass, yes please. A data pad, awesome. What do we actually need here? I need a technical. I could probably make one of these two a technical. So Brannigan, when he's out of his... Uh, he's only a squaddy. I mean, I might as well have one of these go back up. The thing is that, that they're only standard combat intelligence. That is the problem. Brannigan is... Uh, the same, I think. What's his combat intelligence? Above average. Okay, so I do want Brennigan to take over as technical. So, like, the, the technical from Bravo Squad is Dragunov, who's bonded to a Shinobi. So I would have to drop the Shinobi from Alpha Squad, and I can't, because he, he's, uh, he's bonded. Yeah, so Brennigan takes over, which means that one of these two needs to become a technical. Probably Speedman, who's he, he's aptly named Scorcher in any event. That's, that's crap, that's crap, that's nice, crap, 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 crap. Well, what to do with Pyrian Flax, though, is the interesting thing. So, Brennigan goes up to Alpha, and then I suppose P Flax has to take over as the technical for Charlie. The Scorcher takes over as the technical for Charlie. So, P Flax, I can just make him whatever. He can be. We can even leave him there unpromoted, and then if, uh, if an assault or a shinobi dies in any, any of the squads, he can just take over. I mean, he could also be a technical organ to deal with those stats. Good, so we did our first successful Haven defense. I'm going to set another guy over onto recruiting. For the scientists, I think I still need them actually working here. Um, it's tempting to put a scientist here, but no, it's not. Okay, YouTube folks, good little episode. Like I said, did our first successful Haven defense. We built a couple nice uh, laser weapons. We've got battle armor completing now. We have completed a couple of uh, liberation missions in New Mexico and Eastern US. But because New Mexico is producing almost all of our supplies, I think we've, we focus Eastern U.S. now for liberation. And aside from this jailbreak, which will get us uh, a couple of resistance personnel, we're only going to take uh, liberation missions, and we'll just keep hitting normal missions here in Western U.S. Setting course for Western okay. United States. Cool. Thanks for watching, and remember, two episodes of XCOM every day.